morning, Jin Dobre, Buenos Dias, Guten Morgen. I'm still working on the rest. There's a couple more out there. <laughs> yes, getting the day started with some fasted cardio. Someone mentioned in a prior video why do fasted cardio? Because it's proven to be just as effective as any other form. Well, for me, it's simple. Not everything is about living your life completely regimented. I mean, come on, I'm a buff dude, not a robot. For me, fasted cardio is a great incentive to get up in the morning and to seize the day, as they say. I'll grab myself a large cup of water, a cup of coffee, put on my favorite playlist, and get to it. It's a great way to not only get some cardio, but also game plan about the day, the week, set some goals. And for some people, students, people with full-time job, people with a family, you know, it may be one of the only times of the day you get to kind of spend by yourself, just alone with your thoughts, whether you like that kind of thing or not. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this done, usually go for about half hour to 45 minutes just fast enough so I can carry on a conversation without running out of breath, like now, although I'm getting pretty close. So let's wrap it up, and then let's go ahead and make ourselves a slow cooker recipe. Hell yeah. So we got a comment in one of the last videos saying, hey, how come your recipes have all been low carb? And I thought to myself, yeah, you're right, they have. So let's switch it up a little bit today with a slow cooker pea soup recipe. And it's also vegan, which is cool. So let's get right to it. So for this recipe, you will need one pound of split peas, four medium carrots peeled and diced, one and a half cups of white onion, which you're gonna chop, four garlic cloves, one bay leaf, one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, four cups of vegetable broth, and two cups water. With the split peas, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure and clean them beforehand. And with the carrots, you're gonna wanna go ahead and peel them before you begin dicing. Put the peas in the slow cooker first. You're gonna follow that up with your carrots. Next comes your one and a half cups of chopped white onions, your four smashed garlic cloves, one bay leaf, your one tablespoon of salt, your one teaspoon of pepper, your four cups of vegetable broth, and finally, your two cups of water. There, wasn't that easy? Now close it up, put it on high, and we're gonna check back on that bad boy in about five hours. All right, here we are. Time to start phase two. Five days. Shorten rest times. But first, I gotta grab myself some water. Agua. Voda. Or, as the Australians call it, drinky do. The buff dude scout has secured the location once again. Already. America. Give me the power. down here for a second because I'm feeling a little winded. <laughs> As you may notice, we are in phase two, so rest times are a little shorter, and now we're doing pyramid sets, which means for every set, we're gonna be going up in weight and down in reps. So you'll notice, for instance, in deadlifts, Brandon is increasing the weight with each set and getting less repetitions. So a little bit of a switch up, and I think just enough, to really propel us forward and keep climbing up that hill. We did it, 
mama. We did it. <laughs> and you know, that's the great thing about being two phases in. We did our prep phase, we did our phase one, because it's preparing you for later down the road when things get a little bit more heavy and a little bit more intense, which for me at least, it definitely is right now. So let's do it though. We're up for the challenge, hell yeah. The trick is to really hold as much as you can. Doing body weight is not necessarily super difficult, but if you really slow that pace on that negative portion, you can definitely feel it. You know, the fourth, fifth, sixth, so on rep, harder and harder to really hold that position. But you really do gotta focus on keeping your shoulders down. So really, you know, activate those traps, the scapula, depress it, slightly contract it, hold, and then just slowly release and get that full stretch at the bottom. paired chest and back together for a while, but man does it feel good. Talk about an upper body pump. Hell yeah. And I'm glad we got a few more weeks on this phase because my strength isn't quite where I want it to be. So this is a good test to kind of gauge where we're at and also to be able to set small goals to see where we want to be. Nice. kicked into overdrive on that last rep. Hell yeah, <laughs> barely do that one. That was like a three stage rep. Uh, contemplation, denial, and then, um, I don't know, acceptance, I guess. Success, I would call it. Success, exactly, shit, what's wrong with me? Now it's contemplation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's me rethinking my life choices. Hello darkness, my old friend. Yeah, crossovers. It's like an isolation for the chest, but you can get a little elbow action in there as long as you're crossing over, getting a good squeeze in that chest at that bottom position. Circular crunches. If you've never done them, you definitely should give these a shot. It's so working the abdominals, working the obliques. And uh, it's definitely a test of your abdominal um, endurance. Oh, but it built those washboard abs to do your laundry. Washing machine washboard abs. I know, it's kind of weird. Ah, done. Call her good. Stick, in a fork, stick a fork in the buff dudes, because they're done. So it's been five hours. And you know what that means? It's time to check on our slow cooker pea soup recipe. Definitely smells good, that's for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna take out our bay leaf and then I'm gonna give it a taste. Okay, I give it a few minutes to cool and I think it's just about ready. Taste test time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is damn good. Not bad for a first try. It just goes to show you why the slow cooker is so amazing. It's cheap and easy, just the way the buff dudes like it. So I'm gonna have the rest of my soup, I'm gonna be having this for dinner, and I've got it for the rest of the week as well because it made a big batch, and I'll see everybody next time for phase two, day two. Yeah, yeah it's flowing.